And so what up you guys, welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel. On this channel I talk about zines and DIY publishing. And today I have two things that I want to talk about. One is Long Arms by Tina Highland. It's a zine that I want to review. Really good read. And beyond that, we also got some zine mail from Scarf Comics. So let's go ahead and do the Scarf Comics first. And what up you guys? Boom. We got some mail today from Scarf Comics. It's the latest issue. I am a Patreon to the Scarf Comics Project, uh, dropping, I think it's like a dollar twenty uh, a month. Very, very reasonable to help create one of the best underground comics around right now. Right up the referral comics, which is the one I publish. Boom, that's it. And here's the latest issue. Woo, bonus page. For the Patreons. I like this. This is really good quality paper too. It's a poster really. From one of the ones I, I enjoyed the most. Not to say that everyone uh, part of the Scarf Comics doesn't have something that they add. But I really do enjoy Burmer Comics. Really enjoy Burmer Comics and Maldita. So I was happy to see this on Instagram. When they said that Burmer Comics was adding an extra page. Definitely this is going to go up somewhere on my wall. This is issue number five. It's a quick flip through. We'll go ahead and read it later. Oh shit. I like this two uh, page spread. Damn, this is hella good. Let's see if we can. Look at this two page spread. I dig that splash right there. Two page spread. Reads like that. Continuation of the Muscle Man um, series. Or oh, Muscle Core is called. Jake Slingland stuff right there. Digging this. Wordless comic right here on the side. Yeah, man. Can't wait to review this uh, more in depth. I'm obviously going to review uh, issue 4 and 5 because I haven't reviewed issue 4 yet. Boom. Once again, if you are not a Patreon to Scarf Comics, you should honestly consider it. $1.15 a month is really cool project to support for $1.15. Uh, beyond that, let's go ahead and do the zine review. Hey you guys, and this is the zine that I want to review today. It's called Long Arms by Tina Highland. Highland. And uh, for the most part, it's uh, text heavy. There are some memes in there that I found pretty funny. But overall, a lot of quotes by Nishi. The introduction I liked a lot. It was basically kind of giving this very small uh, look at how Harry Potter, uh, the Philosopher's Stone, and also talking about basically how Nishi uh, has penetrated pop culture, whether people realize it or not. She goes then as well to talk about how ultimately Frederick Nishi's writings have kind of been taken out of context and basically abducted by like misogynist uh, people. Um, in it, she basically in the end argues that instead of remaining an icon of desperate masculinity, my conversations with Nishi are feminist, placing him in my milieu with both anger and intimacy. And so from that point, she basically uses Nishi to debunk uh, toxic masculinity. I've read a lot of Nishi and uh, this was definitely a fun read. But definitely I agree with the premise in the intro of like, you know, quotes pulled out of context kind of lose the value and the meaning. And so I preferred it a lot more. Kind of like this section here where there's the Nishi quote, right? But then there's her thoughts. And I, I enjoyed that a lot. So it's definitely a good read. I definitely like the print quality. It is not as um, as a heavy text as you would think, right? Like I know like if I was to read some Nishi today, I definitely wouldn't read more than maybe a page or two a day. But this was uh this was a little lighthearted and, and, and fun and definitely agree with a lot of her points. 
And it's always fun. Like a good philosophy book is a good way of starting the day. You drink some coffee and really delve into uh, the mind. Or as Tina says, and I, I like that, right? Have a conversation with uh, this philosophy or this portion of someone's minds. So Long Arms, Tina Highland, good read. As always, any information that I can find on that zine creator, I will definitely have in the show notes. And beyond that, please don't forget about Feral Comics. It's a comic book zine anthology that I publish with cartoonists from around the world. You can get a year subscription for 20 bucks, or you can buy single issues as you choose. Uh, beyond that, man, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and let's keep building this shit up. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Late.